Good morning, everyone. My name is Puti Mujela. I'm, I'm from NYDA Youth, National Youth Development Agency. I'm a business development advisor there uh, based in Johannesburg branch, uh, Marshalltown. I've been with the agency for uh, for the past nine years. I came in as a uh, loan officer. I became a business development officer, grant officer. Now I'm a business development advisor, uh, dealing mostly with uh, uh, youth development uh, in the space of uh, financial support in the form of uh, grant funding as well as non-financial support, uh, what we call a voucher program, including mentorship and market linkage. Uh, uh, my, my passion is mostly on youth development uh, in general. <clears throat> That's what I, I, I stand for. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get your question. Uh, so, I, I just, okay. a bit. Okay, let me just put it at this. You guys uh, have a mentorship program, right? Yes, ma'am. So can you please tell us more about the mentorship program, how it is beneficial to an entrepreneur? Okay, the mentorship uh, program is, is the most vital uh, programs that we can give to potential or uh, the current beneficiaries or potential beneficiaries because it includes a whole lot of, 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 of aspects because you sometimes you get into a business and then you don't know challenges or opportunities that may, may arise along the way. So when we root in mentors, we, we mostly look for professionals, those who walk the path, those who understand, for example, <clears throat> if someone wants to go into, into uh, financial consulting or opening a law, a, a law firm or an accounting firm. So we link that person with the person who has credentials, who has experience and skills that, uh, <clears throat> that, that, that he or she has acquired over time so we 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 we, we offer a mentorship program where we we link uh, beneficiaries with, with people who 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 have experience uh, who who have who have been who have been in business for quite some time so it's, it's extremely beneficial uh, for example uh, a lady by the name of uh, Zuzu just opened an accounting firm around Marshalltown. So we linked that lady with a guy called Bongani, who is his mentor. Uh, they went to, to Saika together, uh, acquired the uh, financial knowledge. Uh, they are both qualified uh, CA. So if you mentor some, if you link someone with a mentor who, who is in that particular sector or in that particular space, it helps in a, in a big way. Uh, at times, you 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 get men, people who say, "I have a mentor uh, who is in, who is an engineer, uh, but uh, he doesn't have uh, financial skills or financial experience uh, that goes along with running a business, because a business alone requires a whole lot of things. You need uh, financial capacity, you need HR capacity, you need uh, marketing uh, capacity as well." So it's, it's challenging, but it's doable uh, if you, you have the, the right people with the right skills in place. So how does one get involved in that mentorship program? Uh, for you to be a mentor, uh, you, you need to apply. Uh, you, you, you register on NYDA portal. We, NYDA recently launched a portal uh, called ERP. Uh, you just go to www dot uh, nyda.gov.za and then uh, you 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 register on that portal as a partner uh, once you register on that portal as a partner uh, you someone is going to approve your your profile uh, they're going to check your credentials uh, what do you have what the, what do you offer young people out there they're going to do what we call a vetting system and then you there will be an opportunity for online or one-on-one -on -one uh, uh, some sort of uh, an, an interview and then if you pass and then you will become a mentor uh, those who automatically become mentors for NYDAs that are on our database are, 
are opportunity providers. Uh, for example, those who are providing the, your non-financial support uh, to NYDA beneficiaries, they, they went through that process, they are qualified mentors. So for you as a new person, you need to register on our portal. Uh, you will be approved if you reach, if you meet all the requirements and then you become a mentor. And then as an entrepreneur and I need a mentor, how, how do I go about it? Uh, it depends what kind of a mentor you need. As an, as an entrepreneur, you need a mentor that specializes in the field that you want to venture or you, you are currently in. You, 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 you come to NYDA, uh, in NYDA, we provide a product and services. So mostly uh, those who are mentees, we link them with mentors that we currently have. So you need to also to register as well as a youth uh, uh, using NYDA portal for you to be allocated a mentor okay. to venture in, in business. And they don't meet the requirements, especially the BMT, business management training. We offer the business management training workshop. It's eight, it's five to eight days, mm -hmm. where we you you just have to uh, register as a youth on our portal, and then uh, depending on where you are uh, in Houting, uh, you you're going to be called uh, for for that BMT training. And then once that BMT training is done, we we're going to evaluate and check your idea. We call it a desktop assessment, just to analyze uh, whatever that you want to do is it is it funding that you require at that moment or do you need a business plan or a business feasibility study so it depends uh, some some of, of of the potential entrepreneurs they come in they attend the training and then you find that uh, they actually require funding and then others they they require feasibility study or a website development or marketing strategy so uh, to answer your question in short, yes, we provide that uh, business management training for, okay. for any potential entrepreneurs. Thank you. Thanks. So, Thank you. So, Puti, do you guys have like, what is your response time to, for, for example, if I have a business plan and then I submit, how long do you take time to process that and get back to the entrepreneur? Okay, it depends. Uh, we actually have to process the application within 30 days oh. uh, within the 30 days yeah, it depends whether it's a it's a it's a non-financial support or it's a grant funding let's just say it's a grant funding the, the branch uh, has to process that application within 30 days and then uh, you come in you're going to sign a, a grant contract and then it goes to head office for for, for 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 another 30 days for payment but it can happen that you fund your 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 application is processed within uh, let's just say 40 days or all in all uh, it's been paid uh, it's disbursed and then uh, the entrepreneur is happy but at times it can drag up to the 60 days 30 days at the branch 30 days at head of at head office but you don't just submit a business plan and say uh, I'm applying for funding. Uh, we have threshold up to 250,000. So we need to check and gauge uh, whether the applicant meet the requirement for that threshold. For example, if you want to apply for 100K, uh, we need a business plan for you. I mean, we need a business plan from you. Uh, we give you an application form. You're going to do that on the system, on the ERP system. You also have to attach uh, other requirements that uh, we need for that threshold. And then can I ask one last question? Um, yes, ma'am. Do, does your initiative encourage innovation for the entrepreneurs through versatility, usability, and efficiency? Yes, it does. Uh, we, we The new normal dictate now that uh, we need to move into ITC space. Uh, there's a lady by the name of Katia Osikite mm -hmm. uh, in Gauteng who... who who we assisted. She's running a, a cleaning business. Uh, she has a, a ITC uh, qualification and, and, and exposure in that regard. So she she went, she, she developed an app, uh, like the, the app that works normally like an Uber Eats app or an Uber uh, app or Taxifier app. 
So if you want services, you just get into that app uh, and then you require, depending on where you are, she availed personnel for you to, to come to your house to clean, whether it's a car or whether it's, it's that. So we are now moving totally towards that ITC space because uh, the, the, the current situation dictate that uh, the, the, we move into that space. Uh, you find uh you we find most of the entrepreneurs who 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 goes to the banks uh and they are asked whether they have surety or not for 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 whatever project that they want to embark on uh, so lack of funding lack of surety uh, lack of technical ability in most cases uh, uh it's, those are those are the challenging ones uh, so as NYDA, uh, we, we, we offer, uh, I would say it's a token, because if you, you find a young person who wants to venture into a petroleum business, and then uh, uh, he or she wants plus minus <clears throat> 4 million rands, and then as NYDA, we, we, we go in to capacitate and probably offer a business plan of a feasibility study for that young person. Uh, and refer that young person to CEDA or CIFA for, for an adequate funding for, for that up, for up to 5 million rands. Uh, you might find challenges that a young person doesn't have a surety at that point. Because if you go to CIFA or IDC, they will need a surety. Uh, that's why young people, in most cases, they call them red tapes, that uh, uh, institution that are supposedly... Uh, are there to help us they don't so lack of funding is, is the most challenging one the most most challenging one we we are trying uh, but you, uh, where i'm sitting uh, 250,000 or up to 250,000 uh, is not sufficient for, for 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 other businesses thank you me uh, skills development or set of skills that are required for, for potential entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs is a very, very, very important, especially when it comes to customer services. Uh, customer services, number one. Number two will be networking. Extremely important. Customer services, it's something that you need to enhance uh, throughout. Uh, it's a continuous process that you, you need to make sure that you, when you speak to your clients, when you promise your clients certain things, a level of professionalism is there. NYD is providing what we call grow your business uh, training. Uh, it's about five days uh, for all the beneficiaries just to touch base and engage with them, just to check uh, where they are, uh, what they need to improve, how do they improve. Uh, that's how important it is. And in that, in that uh, grow your business uh, workshop, uh, professionals are invited uh, or personnel from institutions such as SARS accounting firms, legal firms are invited to come just to touch base, to engage entrepreneurs on how to improve on their set of skills. Uh, lastly, uh, we are in partnership with a the, with the company called Noble. It's an NPO in Johannesburg that works closely with uh, Sasfin Bank. Sasfin Bank is a small bank uh, in South Africa that provide financial management uh, set of skills to our beneficiaries extremely crucial because most uh, entrepreneurs when it comes to uh, 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 submitting their returns to SARS they rely mostly on uh, uh, financial guys to, to, to provide guidance there but it's also very crucial and important for, for, for potential entrepreneurs or for entrepreneurs in general to know what goes into those financial statements why are my sales dropping? Why are, are my revenues uh, going high? What happened? So that when they submit to SARS, two years, three years down the line, they don't get uh, these funny letters that says now you owe uh, uh, such and such an amount. Uh, those who wants to register for VET, uh, those who, may, who, who wants to be in that space of VET registration, collecting money on behalf of, of SARS, they they do that knowing what goes into that so it's very 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 important for me skills are a set of skills that are required or skills that entrepreneurs need 
uh, it's a continuous process. You need to learn continuously every day. Thank you. Uh, Putsi, there's a question here down here. I don't know if you can read it or must I read it out for you? Uh, you can do that. Um, is the quantity as opposed to the quality of business in South Africa the solution to the country's economic problem? problem. Uh, to, a larger, to a larger extent, the answer is yes. Because you find uh, young potential entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs that goes into businesses not because they have passion or drive for that, but because they don't have jobs. So if you have an entrepreneur who, who does that, once he or she gets an opportunity to be employed, then she leaves the business sector. But if you have people who, who, who have drive, who have passion for, for what they believe in, they went into that business because they, they saw a gap, they, they saw an opportunity, and they're providing a solution for that, then you will have quality opposed to quantity. Thank you, so much. I think I will, I will just uh, give an example of, of, of COVID. Uh, most businesses that are run by young people, uh, they collapsed uh, during this period uh, due to cash flow, due to them not investing enough or adequately uh, in back into their business or re 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 remodeling their business or coming up with strategy on how to save how to reinvest back into business if you want to uh, make acquisition from other businesses how do you do that so uh it's it's, it's a very challenging one a very 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 challenging one uh but in the in the meantime or or when you see a, a business that is run by a young person and then they're not giving back to themselves or to the society that they live in by maybe employing uh, people around their society or by investing back, by buying assets for, for, for the organization, make sure that there is enough cash flow to sustain the business, even in rainy days like uh, what we just had or just what we are having currently, the COVID. So... Uh, most businesses will die, definitely. Most businesses will die. So uh, we need a model. That's where mentorship and business coach comes in very handy. Uh, you 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 need to 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 for you for for your business to be sustainable, you need to to continuously have uh, to to reinvent your businesses. Uh, you need to have a mentorship who will guide you in a way that uh, if you need to acquire certain assets or you need to if you need to acquire certain business model into your business or incorporate other business streams you need to do that because if we don't and challenges comes in like covid that that covid now most businesses will die so investing or reinvesting back into the business is, is extremely crucial thank you to add what uh Nozuga has said uh, you have uh e.g. Uh, Ikurileni municipality, where they encourage uh, young potential entrepreneurs who are doing business, uh, for example, around uh, Boxback area or Jimistan area, uh, they will say a budget for enterprise finance uh, is such and such an amount uh, for young people from uh, Windmill Park or from uh, Ward 35. So it is happening. Uh, it's just that we need more. We need more, not only necessarily a municipality or government. We need more from private sector where uh, such initiative uh, is there. It will also uh, build up from these small networks that uh, entrepreneurs are having in and around our location. So definitely, uh, I, I think it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And then if we can have more uh, private companies aiding to what municipalities are now doing, uh, it, it will help us in the long run. Thank you. Thank you so much. Small, let me just get in in terms of funding when it comes to collab or when it comes to uh, two heads coming together uh, to form one unit. Uh, I have encountered uh, challenges when it comes to that. Uh, where you find that uh, Nozuko has, has, has resources 
and then you find that Katleo has skills and then they go into business together uh, without uh, detailing or without having contractual obligations. It works uh, if you, you, you find people who are mature about it, who understand why they got into it in the first place, who put uh, 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 maybe a contract in place or structure together to say, uh, this is what you will get from the business when we reach to point A. So it works that way. Uh, for example, uh, if you come to NYDA and you wants to uh, open a, a, a law firm and you don't have uh, law skills, we, we won't fund you. That, that's number one, we won't fund you. But if you have a partner who has uh, those technical skills, uh, we, we, we can look into that. We can definitely fund that businesses. Uh, that are structured in that way. The most important thing is that uh, those directors or those people who goes in to collaborate together, uh, they need to understand why they went into that collabo in the first place. They need to have probably maybe a contract in place, uh, who does what, when and how, so that we don't have conflict uh, in the near future. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, uh, I'm happy that uh, I availed myself today uh, for for engage for engagement and uh, to provide insight on what NYD does and where we can be reached. Uh, but I think in closing, I would say, I think maybe you need to engage uh, RM, our regional manager, more often. Okay. Uh, her name is uh, Riboni Machola. I'll, I'll probably share uh, her email as well, or probably maybe you have her email. Uh, engage that office more often. Try to organize a project. Uh, let's just say Katleho stays in 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 Rodiport. Uh, organize project from Rodiport. Organize young people that can be trained in Rodiport. Uh, using uh, Krugersdorp office or uh, using Ranfontein office, NYD office in Ranfontein is closer there because we've got about five branches in Gauteng. Uh, I'm based in Johannesburg branch doing financial and non-financial support. Uh, we, 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 we report directly to, to Mema Jola via our team leader. So it's important to engage her so that we can form a partnership uh, that do, it won't necessarily be a hearsay. People will see that uh, we have end end result. We came to social media. We came to this platform on such and such a date. Uh, three months down the line, we had a project maybe in Tembisa. Or we had a project in Dobsonville. Uh, about twenty young uh, potential entrepreneurs were funded, or potential entrepreneurs were funded. So I think it's something that you constantly need to engage with her. Uh, uh, depending on where you want those projects to be. Uh, if it's in around uh, uh, Johannesburg or COJ, she would engage our office and then we run with the project, uh, doing training, providing grants, providing mentorship, as well as non-financial support, uh, whether they need a website, feasibility study, payroll, or a business plan. Whether it's in Pretoria, we have an office there. So I think she's structurally the right person that you can engage. So in closing, uh, NYDA is there. Uh, young people need to use that office uh, uh, now and then, whether they access fund. If there are challenges, they need to address challenges uh, through her office uh, so that we, 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 we can improve. If the turnaround time is taking too long, uh, I believe that uh, there's no cast and stone whereby uh, we can continuously cry saying NYDA is not offering services. We need to address and, and make sure that uh, NYDA serve young people of this country. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much.